So you've discovered you have head lice. Time to take immediate action. You have more options than you think, and you don't have to use harsh and potentially harmful pesticides either. In fact, to be honest, they don't work as well as they claim, and there's a new generation of head lice called super lice that have found a way to build a resistance to these pesticides. First, wash your hair in sections with a mixture of shampoo mixed with multiple drops of tea tree and lavender essential oil. Use warmer water than you usually would, hot if you can handle it. Knits or lice eggs are harder to remove because they're literally glued to your hair shaft. So after washing a section, you have to use your fingers to pick out the knits. You do this by taking an even smaller section of hair, firmly holding the root, maintain a firm grip, and slide your fingers down the entire length of your hair. Use your nails if you have them. It's a tedious process, but if you complete your whole head, it'll get rid of a lot of nits. After washing and nitpicking your entire head, fully coat your hair and scalp with an organic oil like coconut oil mixed with multiple drops of tea tree and lavender essential oil. Make sure the smell of the oil mixture is very strong. Wrap your hair airtight with saran wrap for 68 hours. The harsh scent of tea tree and lavender essential oil is nice to us, but toxic to lice bugs, and the airtight environment will help suffocate them. For an extra bonus, after wrapping your hair with saran wrap, sit under a hooded dryer for about an hour. Now that your hair is wrapped up and isolated, take some time to wash all your shirts, scarves, hats, pillowcases, towels, and headscarves with hot water and detergent. Try not to drive yourself too crazy with this step though. It's just an extra precaution because lice lives in your hair. So if it falls out, it's probably dead or dying. But there could be a rare chance that a shed hair has a lice or knit attached to it. After six to eight hours, rinse the oil mixture out. Coat your hair with a mix of two part apple cider vinegar, one part water, and cover it again with saran wrap for two to three hours. Rinse out the apple cider vinegar, blow out, then flat iron or hot comb your hair in very small sections. Make sure to reach every hair strand. This step is very important because it'll help kill any remaining nits or bugs in your hair, so be thorough. Then oil your scalp and hair with the same oil and essential oil mixture you used earlier. This time use a normal amount and don't rinse it out. This is a great time to trim your ends because the next step requires you to thoroughly rake your straightened oiled hair with one of these lice combs. Make sure to carefully inspect the lice comb for any nits or bugs. And for the next week, use the lice comb to check your hair every day for any new sightings. Did you know that the origins of fine tooth combs were for lice removal? Check out these images of the lice combs used back in the day. I know this strategy may seem like a lot and it may be overkill, but it's a good thing because this species is very resilient. Here are some helpful videos on YouTube of how others combated their frustrating bout with head lice. I hope they're helpful. Head lice are insects that can only survive in your hair, and they can't fly or jump, so they crawl around in your hair and on your scalp to get nourishment. They spread through close personal contact. You don't have to rub your head with someone that's infected to catch it. Sharing combs or brushes or scarves and hats with someone that's infected can transfer these parasites to you. And it's impossible to tell if someone is infected or not just by looking at them because many people that are infected just have a few bugs because they're in the process of unsuccessfully trying to get rid of them. Children are more at risk because they come into close contact with potentially infected classmates and friends daily. So take care and pay attention to your child's hair. Wash it regularly with shampoo mixed with a few drops of tea tree essential oil and teach them not to let anyone play in their hair and not to share any hair tools and hats with anyone. You may also want to avoid sleepovers, but that's strictly up to you. 
Buyers beware. There are many cases of human hair infecting people with head lice. So please inspect any hair you buy before using it. Here are some videos on YouTube of people's experiences with finding lice in their hair weave. Here are a few myths on head lice. They're pretty self-explanatory. Just so you know if you have locks and you're infected with lice, it's extremely difficult to get rid of them because they can hide inside your locks. You can try suffocating them with the oil and essential oil mixture, but unfortunately if that's not effective, you may have to cut off your locks. In conclusion, African Americans are significantly less likely to ever get head lice compared to white Americans. But relaxed or natural, if your hair is exposed to head lice, you can get them and they will multiply and potentially infect others. I'm sure most of us African Americans have never known anyone with head lice, which is probably true because 0.3% of African Americans translates to just a little over 100,000 people, compared to almost 26 million white Americans with head lice. But let's be honest, someone with head lice is most likely not going to broadcast it to people. All you can do is learn the facts and keep a watchful eye on who and what interacts in your hair and your children's hair. I really hope this video was able to help someone. As always, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.